Uh-uh. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Have you told me this? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm doing so bad. It's okay. Hey, I'm Taylor. I'm also Taylor. And we're playing How Well Do You Know Your Co-Star by Marie Claire. Are you ready? Yeah. What is my favorite alcoholic beverage? <sighs> See, that's tough because it depends what like mood you're in. Okay, my like go-to without fail. See, I, 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 what I want to say can definitely fail because it's tough to make this drink. So, oh my goodness, wow. Don't think too hard about it. I'm trying not to think too hard, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many options. Okay, uh, Dirty Martini. Yeah, see, that was the one I didn't want to say because you can <laughs> it, it can be made incorrect. Um, That's like my number two. Okay. What's like if we're, like we could be anywhere and I'll get this drink. You roll your eyes at me when I order it. Oh my <laughs> gosh, you did not put this as your favorite alcoholic beverage. It's my go-to. Okay, she loves a Tito's Sprite, a vodka Sprite. With lime. With lime? <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, we'll be at like the nicest restaurant with like a great cocktail menu and she'll be like, can I just get a Tito's Sprite? I just, it just, the Sprite sits good, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's a classic. Whatever floats your boat. Before you, who was my very first crush? I have a couple options here. I know, honestly, it's between two for me. I can't even remember which one came first. <laughs> um, Jessica Alba? Yeah, probably. Mm. I guess, think so. Can I guess a second? Yeah. Is she a model? Yeah. Miranda Kerr? Yep. <laughs> ding, 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 ding! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those two. are the two. What was my first job? Probably a nanny. No? I don't count that as like my first job because I was babysitting okay. since I was like 12. Like oh. my first, like I was on the payroll. Oh man. Did you like work for Dance Studio 84 or something? Like, no? Uh -uh. Oh my goodness. I am gonna lose this game. I don't know. Have you told me this? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll give you a hint. Okay. When you first moved to California, you lived by it. Me? You? <laughs> Tilly's? <laughs> Close, it was next door to Tilly's. What? Hobby Lobby? Oh my gosh, you're done. What? No, I worked at a little like, clothing boutique. Oh yes. I, I was, I think, honestly, I think I was working there when we first met. Okay. Yep. Potentially. I, I remember that. Or I used to, I was still like going there. Oh my gosh, I'm doing so bad. It's okay. Which famous Disney Channel movie did I pretend like I could sing and dance for and actually made the final cut for? It was between me and oh. know, like the final. But you didn't get it. Correct. Camp Rock. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe I got that far. <laughs> the Jonas Brothers did okay. Yeah, they, they, they did it pretty well. <laughs> we all did have to sing, dance, and act. Those were the three elements that we had to do. But I think till the final cut, it was just acting and you just like checked a box if you could sing or dance. Oh God. And then when it got to like the final five people for each role, we did this big like, you know, audition together. And um, that was when I think I had to actually um, prove that my boxes checked were, were real. I, have and, a, uh, I actually have a question. Why did you even audition for it? I, I don't know, it sounded <laughs> fun. <laughs> it might've been like an Enrique Iglesias song. That's clearly why I didn't get the role. Yeah. I wonder um, if I have that tape still. So. I hope not, I better be burned. What is my biggest pet peeve? See, I feel like you're asking difficult questions where there could be multiple answers. <sighs> How about when I take the trash out and I throw the trash away, but don't um, re-put the new trash bag back into the bin? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's it. Sure. Or when I um, that that is that is the toilet paper and don't like and I've gotten better at this. Yeah, I, I don't do this anymore. Yeah. But when I used to finish a toilet paper roll and then. The roll will end and then he'll leave the uh, roll on there and then you'll grab a new one and then just put it on top of the counter. But the, the counter's here one. and the roll's here. Got it. He, just, but he doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, that was, the trash bag we're still working on. Taking out the trash is a two part series. I got part A like, yeah. nailed. Yeah, part B is a little touch and go. It's true. We're working on it though. I know. Next question. What is my most impressive hidden talent? I mean, aside from like your talents of cooking and nice. in the kitchen. Wow. Um, I would have to go with catching things in your mouth, like yeah. grapes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. You're really good at this game. It's annoyingly good. <laughs> the great, great flip catch. Here we go. Was I, was, I was proud of that one. Yeah, it was impressive. What's my favorite food? Favorite food? Yeah. Sushi. Yeah. Yes! Ah! Finally got one. <laughs> yes! Bonus question? Yeah. What's my, one of my f- absolute favorite rolls or orders? I, I got two that pop into my mind. Okay. But I will go 1A is the King Hong roll from mm-hmm. Q Sushi. Mm-hmm. And two would be yellowtail nigiri halibut style from Kenza. That's good. Final question. Who, also subjective, is the coolest person that follows me on Instagram? Ooh. I know. There's a couple options. Yeah. Dame. I feel like you think that's the coolest person who follows me. Mahomes. It's pro- I mean, he just those won my, a Super Bowl. Those are my two and, like, options, Damian Super Lillard, Bowl, Patrick MVP. Mahomes. Yeah. I, like, athletes do it for me. Yeah. I, I mean. He gets starstruck over I'll athletes. I'll freak out over. So, Patrick Mahomes and Damian Lillard. Yeah, you just casually Definitely. told me that Dame followed you the other night. And I, I know. Like, you oh. had no clue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. We're homies. Drop 70 points. And you're like, oh, yeah, he follows me. I'm like, oh, casual. <laughs> Casual, both of those. <laughs> Bonus question for you. Okay. Not that you need it. Which co-star of mine uh-huh. did I sit right next to at the Super Bowl and completely ignore the entire time? Okay, what Super Bowl is this? I believe in 2010. Is it still Jessica? Jessica who? Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> you dummy. I told you this story. You ignored her? You didn't say hi? I didn't have any scenes with her, but then we went on to both be in Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day together. But I literally got sat right next to Jessica and Alba. Oh, like this? Like this. And I was so nervous, <laughs> I sat there for three hours and didn't say a single word to you her. weirdo. And I felt like she was like looking at me, trying to say hi, like multiple times. And I was just like, nope, can't do it. Oh can't my gosh. do it. I and mean, you were how old then, I guess? 18. Okay, I'll give it to you then. Yeah. But then we went on to do Valentine's Day together and literally on the red carpet at the premiere, I, I came clean and I told her about it. I was oh like, my gosh. nice to officially meet you. Um, I know we sat next to each other at the Super Bowl. I was just no- so nervous I couldn't speak. Oh my gosh. So. <laughs> she did win by a landslide. <laughs> Working together on the podcast, it- it's been great. We have learned more about each other, which we didn't think was possible. We've had some great, wise people on that have just helped kind of pull things out of us and. Yeah. Click some light bulbs on and it's it's been awesome. It's been fun because I feel like we both bring different things to the table. It's true. And I'll be like, oh I have an idea. And Taylor's like, no, we're not doing that. We need to do it this way. I'm like, oh my gosh, absolutely. I don't even know why I didn't think of that and like vice versa. If I had any advice for couples that were thinking about working together, I my number one piece of advice would be listen. Without listening and being able to hear the other person's thoughts, concerns, ideas. It's 
probably not going to go very well. Yeah. And just make sure that you have good communication as well. And I almost feel like I would also say, make sure it's not all you do. Like don't let it consume yeah. all of your time and energy. Like make sure you're still putting time in for like, just like one-on-one -on -one time, not thinking about work or whatever it yeah. may be. Talk about other things or take a break from it. Yeah. It should be a part of your relationship, yeah. not the other way around. Thanks for watching everyone. We had a ton of fun and be sure to subscribe to Marie Claire. And while you're over there, also subscribe to The Squeeze. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple, YouTube. We have new episodes dropping every Wednesday. Uh, so go check us out.